Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. In the previous video we looked at installing the Telnet client to run tests. Um, you can test if uh, you know, a smart host is responding or is accessible etc. So I'm going to be using Mimecast in this example to do a Telnet test and to show you what works and what doesn't work. So if we head over to Server Manager click on our server just looking for the the log files okay well simple enough we can just go to the dashboard and I can show you that it is indeed installed. There you can see. Right, so you can use PowerShell, normal PowerShell. As an example, you can use command prompt. I'll show you both. So I've already got the address typed up. So we're running Telnet. The smart host um, can be anything, can be um, semantic can be uh, spam experts etc and if you press enter <coughs> if you get this response means that they are accepting mail on port 587 so that is a good sign if you do it from PowerShell same thing see it's not limited to just command prompt so if we know how to do it on port 25 you'll notice that they don't accept it on port 25 so mail will only be secure to mimecast and <coughs> if you've configured semantic as well it'll accept mail on port 587 as well you can see port 25 is actually closed now we can do the same thing here same result if it gets stuck like this then you know that there's no connection to it so just be aware that if you are setting up a new server and you've got a, a smart host from your ISP but you not sure if mail is going to work or mail is going to flow you can always do a telnet test to the to the smart host or to your ISP on the different ports and you can confirm it's open you might have to open firewalls to allow the traffic out and in but this will then tell you if uh, it's not working or if it's working and the firewall guys will also see a block on the firewall if it is essentially blocked on your side and not on the ISP side and that's how simple it is to do a telnet test thank you very much for watching